Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. Facial peels can be very helpful, especially if you have textured skin, you just want a really nice glow, or you have hyperpigmentation spots left behind from acne, which is what I have. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my peel routine. Don't mind my voice because I literally just woke up, but let's get started. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, hair, makeup, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed, and without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing you always want to do is cleanse your skin with a gentle cleanser. So the one that I'm using this morning is the Pew Kangul Low pH Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. This one is so gentle and it's perfect for those with more sensitive skin. What I love about this one is that you really do not need a lot of it and it keeps your skin super hydrated and moisturized even when you've washed it off. Generally, I don't really wash my face with a cleanser. In the morning, I usually would just use a hot towel and put that on my face. But if I use retinol the night before or I use any actives the night before, sometimes I do wash them off, especially if I'm gonna be doing a peel. I'm going to take my reusable microfiber face towel and I'm going to be soaking that in some really warm water and just cleansing my face with that to wipe off the soap. Once that's finished, I'll go ahead and put on my gloves because this is the start of our actual peel routine. You wanna make sure you put on gloves because you are using a very strong acid and you do not want your hands to be peeling as well. I mean, unless you do, but <laughs> I would advise not to. But at this point, you can just let your skin dry to get rid of all the water and everything that's there. I'm gonna take it a step forward though, because I'm used to it. I'm gonna be using the isopropyl alcohol 70% and I'm gonna be putting that on my skin just to make sure that it dehydrates properly. You don't have to do this, but like I said, I'm used to it, so I'm good. I'm just taking a uh, medical gauze and I'm going to be swiping that on the face. The next thing I'll do is I'll put a little bit of moisture where my skin needs some of it. So I'm just using some um, Vaseline and I'm going to be putting this on my lips. And in the corners here. I don't want these to overpeel. In the curb of in the corners of my nose. Flip this over. And then I also want to put this around my eyes. That should help keep them safe and away from the peel. Now that our skin is incredibly dry and our delicate areas are safeguarded, it's time to move on to our peel. Today's peel is going to be the Revolution Multi-Acid Peeling Solution. You guys know I've been using this for forever. It's one of my favorites. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drip it on my face without touching my face though. One drop, I rub it in. You do not need a lot of this. A thin, even layer is all that you need. Ooh, and girl, it starts to burn real quick. <laughs> then I like doing under the jaw as well, because I do have pigmentation there too. You can go further down and all the way down to your chest, but that's not what I'm gonna be doing today. For this, you're supposed to use a maximum of 10 minutes, so you don't wanna go over that. I've been talking already, so we're at nine minutes. So I set my clock for nine minutes, and I'll see you in just a bit. Going back in with that Pew Young Cool Low pH Pore Deep Cleanser. Just a tiny, tiny bit, as you guys can see. And we will wash the peel off of our face. I like using the low pH specifically because you're using a peel. I don't want to flip the um, active ingredient too much, but obviously you want it to stop. And using a cleanser is a great way to make it stop. Personally, I like using low pH when I'm cleaning them off. 
After a peel, I move on to a hydrating mask. And this is just to calm my skin down, to get rid of any redness or any potential irritation that may appear on my skin. Today, I'm using the Topicals Butter, their hydrating mask for dry and sensitive skin. So just taking a little bit onto my finger. And we're gonna put that all over. Mmm, it feels so good. Okay, so this one specifically says to leave it on for 20 minutes, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. It's been 20 minutes, it's time to wash this off our face. And it does say to use a warm towel, so I'm gonna be using my towel once again to just gently take it off. Now I'm going in with my Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This one is super hydrating. It has a lot of hyaluronic acid and in a way that like, it's not just a water, it's a little sticky in its texture because of how hydrating it is. So I'm gonna put this on while your skin is still damp. And just let it absorb. <laughs> and let it soak in. I'm actually gonna go in with a second layer of it as well. Next, I want to really just make sure that my skin is super hydrated throughout the day, especially when you're using peels. It is super important to hydrate your skin and just make sure that you're not losing any water. So I'm using the You To The People Triple Peptide Cactus Oasis Serum. Now this is a new serum to me, but I really do like how it just gives your skin this super lush look without being sticky or anything. Just a little bit goes a long way. One pump is legitimately all you need. And just put that everywhere. After your peel is the perfect time to apply your brightening products because there's no dead skin on the surface to prevent the product from seeping deeper in. So I'm going to be using the Topicals Faded Cream. This is their brightening and clearing serum for uneven skin tone. It has like a nice serum texture. It's a little bit sticky, I'd say, if you guys can see. A little sticky, but once it goes on, like it's totally fine. And to be honest, it's not my favorite scent, but I will do just about anything to brighten my skin at this point. Just about, within reason. So I'm actually gonna let that sit for a few seconds before applying my sunscreen, just cause I don't wanna move around the product. I feel like when you put too many products on too quickly, you're kind of wiping it off in a way, and I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so let it soak for about 30 seconds or so before moving on to your next product. And for me, our next product will be sunscreen. So this morning I'm gonna be using the Black Girl Sunscreen, the original 30 SPF. I'm gonna be putting that all over my face. All right. Oh, so beautiful. Honestly, if you do not look like a glazed donut when putting on your sunscreen, you are not doing it properly. Don't forget your ears or around your eyes or your lips. Don't forget anything. With this one in particular, it's gonna look a little bit shiny at first, but it's gonna go all the way down. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any special tips and tricks that you use when you do a peel on your skin or any of your favorite products to help calm your skin down afterwards. I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember to click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.